Okay, so today we're going to talk about integers and absolute values. So put this title at the top of your paper, 1.3 integers and absolute value, and put the date for today right here on the top right. I know this is review for some of you, if not most of you, but let's go over it anyways. So, for example, at a golf tournament, Tiger Woods shot a 3 over par. So let's write this. You don't have to write this whole thing out, but Tiger shot 3 over par. Rory McIlroy shot 7 under par. So Rory, 7 under par. Jim Furyk shot 1 over par. So he'd be at 1. And Phil Mickelson shot 2 under par. Now, if you're not familiar with golf, over means positive numbers, under means negative numbers. Okay, so Tiger was at 3, Rory at negative 7, Jim at 1, Phil at negative 2. These are all what we call integers. Now, integers are the set of whole numbers and their opposites. So whole numbers, meaning 5 or 7 or 11 or whatever, those are whole numbers. Now, their opposites just mean the negative aspect of it. For example... Uh, a whole number would be 8. Now its opposite would be negative 8. Those are integers. Now, it has to be a whole number. It cannot be, uh, it can't be 2.6. That is not an integer because it's not a whole number, okay? So write this down, integers, the set of whole numbers and their opposites. That's really important, whole numbers and their opposites. Now, additive inverse, additive inverse, that's just a fancy way of saying opposite. But the technical definition is numbers that are the same distance from zero, but on opposite sides of zero on a number line. So write that down. And in parentheses, just put opposite. So write that down. Numbers that are the same distance from zero, but on opposite sides of zero on a number line. And what does that look like? Well, if we have our number line here, uh, we would say 6 is the additive inverse of negative 6. Because if you would add them together, they're the same distance from 0, right? 0 is 6 spaces away from 6, and negative 6 is 6 spaces away from 0. They're both 6 spaces away, so they're additive inverses. If you, would, if you were to add 6 and negative 6, you would get 0. So make sure we write down that definition. Next, use less than, greater than, or equal to compare Tiger's and Rory's scores. So if Tiger's at 3 and Rory's at negative 7, if we were to make some kind of number line, we could say, if you look at Rory, he's over here at negative 7, and Tiger's over here at 3. So we know that Tiger's score, 3, is greater than Rory's score, negative 7. Now you could have also flipped it. You could say 3 is greater than negative 7. And if you remember uh, when you are a little kid, whatever uh, the, the guy is chomping on, that's the bigger number, right? Or you could say whatever the Pac-Man is uh, eating, that's the bigger number. All right, so now let's list the golfers in order from lowest score to highest score. So we have uh, Tiger, Phil, Rory, uh, and Jim. So let's use a number line again. So we have, uh, let's see, Tiger is at 3. Rory is at negative 7. Jim is at 1. And Phil is at negative 2. Now, making a number line makes it really easy, right? I don't know why I put those. Let's, uh, let's put their actual initials. So we know Jim is here, and Rory is here, and Phil is here. Okay. So we would say that uh, from least to greatest, lowest score to highest, we would go from left to right. So we would go negative 7 negative 2, 1, and 3. Because on a number line from left to right, left is the lowest, right is the highest. 
All right, so we put those in order from lowest to highest. Excellent. Now, I want you to do this on your own and write these in order from least to greatest. So now would be a great time to pause. You should have gotten, for number three, your lowest score, negative four, then three, then seven. And if you found a number line, that, that, that's easy too. Uh, write the integers, eight, negative five, and four, in order from least to greatest. Well, the least is our negative number, which is negative five, then four, then eight. Okay, let's move on. Find the additive inverse of each integer. Remember, the word additive inverse simply means opposite. Opposite. So simply, the opposite of 8 is negative 8. The opposite of negative 15 is positive 15. Now this one's kind of confusing. The opposite is 0. How far away is it from 0? Well, it's 0 away from 0, so the additive inverse of 0 is 0. Okay. Now, let's find the additive inverse of these. Try this one on your own. Take a minute and pause it. Okay, welcome back. Additive inverse of 6 is negative 6. Additive inverse of negative 12 is 12. Additive inverse of 5 is negative 5 because they're the same distance away on the number line. Let's take a look at uh, this number line just to illustrate uh, number 1 here. If you look at number 1, or sorry, you know, let's look at number 3. If you look at number 3, we have 5 and negative 5. And look, they're the same distance away from zero. Okay? They're the same distance away from zero. That's five spaces there. And if we move that over, it's five spaces there. So additive inverse, distance from zero. The next concept's important, and uh, you might know it, you might not. This is called absolute value, a number's distance from zero on the number line. Now, absolute value, let's say we find the absolute value of four and it's the distance from zero on a number line. Here's what it looks like. Absolute value of four looks just like this, okay? Now, we have these parentheses. They're not curved, they don't have brackets, they're just straight parentheses on the outside. Absolute value of four is four because it's four away from zero on a number line, four spaces, one, two, three, four. Distance, distance can't be negative, it can only be positive. For example, if we had the absolute value of negative seven, what is the distance from negative 7 to 0 on the number line? The distance is 7. It's not negative 7 because distance can't be negative. There are 7 spaces in between negative 7 and 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the absolute value of negative 7 is simply 7. We can never have a negative answer for an absolute value. So make sure you write this down, absolute value, a number's distance from zero on a number line. Now what exactly does that look like? Evaluate each expression. Well, if we have the absolute value of negative nine, let's get another number line out here. Absolute value of negative nine, well, negative nine's here, okay, and zero's here. The distance between negative 9 and 0 is 9, positive 9, because distance, again, can't be negative. So the absolute value of negative 9 is just 9. And then we know that the absolute value of 7, the distance between 0 and 7, is 7. So 9 plus 7, and our answer would be 16. Now, sometimes we have operations within the absolute value. In that instance, we have to do, if you remember order of operations, we have to do that order of operations first. So let's do 20 minus 20, and that's going to be 0, right? Now it's still in the absolute value parentheses. So the absolute value is 0. Well, 0 is 0 away from 0, so the absolute value would be 0. So that's our answer. Okay, let's try some on our own. 
we have absolute value of negative 8 plus absolute value of negative 5, and then the absolute value of 17 minus 6. Pause it. Try it on your own. Okay, welcome back. Absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8 because it's 8 spaces away from 0. The absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5 because it's 5 spaces away from 0. And then 8 plus 5 is simply 13. Now, number 4, absolute value of 17 minus 6. Well, 17 minus 6 is, a, is 11, right? So we have the absolute value of 11. And 11 is 11 spaces away from 0. So let's recap. Integers are the set of whole numbers and their opposites, like 8 and negative 8. They're integers. They cannot be decimals or fractions. They have to be whole numbers. And it's all the positive whole numbers and negative whole numbers. Next, we talked about additive inverse. Additive inverse is simply the opposite, 8 and negative 8, negative 15 and 15, uh, positive 26 and negative 26, and so on. Then we talked about absolute value. Absolute value is how far a number is from zero on the number line. And if it's a negative, it could be negative, uh, the absolute value of negative uh, 1 million. Okay? The absolute value of negative 1 million is just 1 million because it's 1 million spaces away from zero on the number line. Okay. Hopefully you got that. All right, I will see you in class.